forward to watching. <laughs> 457 for you this morning. Clear up the confusion as several Bay Area counties relax the rules. New questions are being asked. Next year, today in the Bay for you. What do you need to know before leaving your house or the store or even the park? So we're answering your virus-related questions every day. Like this one from Steven. He messaged us about a suspected case of price gouging on hand sanitizer. Our team quickly responded with where to report it. Now, let us help you. No question is too small. Contact us anytime. We respond to every call, every email, every social media post. It will be challenging, but we will get through this together. Washing our hands is just the start. This is all hands on deck. That's why at PG&E, we want you to know about our programs to reduce bills for customers facing economic hardship. That we've stopped all service shutoffs because of non-payment during this crisis. And we can help you lower bills with simple ways to save energy. To find out more and for more information on how to stay safe, please visit safetyactioncenter.pge.com. The Health Trust's Meals on Wheels needs your donations to continue delivering healthy meals to vulnerable homebound seniors, people with disabilities, and others. Learn more at NBCBayArea.com. These images are an example of what not to see. People, what not to do. This virus doesn't take the weekends off. <laughs> Open beaches. It's five o'clock. This is today in the Bay. Governor Newsom expected to follow up on comments he made Monday, calling for all beaches across California to close, setting up a potential tug of war with some cities. Meantime, the number of confirmed cases in the Bay Area is now nearing eight thousand. Close to three hundred people have died. And a good morning to you on this Thursday. Thanks so much for joining us here on Stay in the Bay. I'm Marcus Washington. And I'm Laura Garcia. We're going to get to the morning commute, if there's much of one out there, with Mike in about eight minutes right now. But let's check that forecast with meteorologist Carrie Hall. We're actually closer to the weekend, hoping for a nice day today. It will be another nice day, leading into a nice weekend. Our temperatures have cooled off from the way we started this week, so as we head over toward Concord, expect it to be in the mid-50s to start out this morning, and then warming up into the 70s for this afternoon. Once again, we're in for a really nice